Well, I sort of accidentally started calling the poetics just in notes to myself on things to do list. I'd say work on the poetics today, and I call them the poetics just because of the writing. I mean, it is somewhat poetry. It's my own words, so it's kind of more stream of consciousness and maybe words of gratitude. A lot of positive mantras, but for lack of a better term, I started calling them the poetics, and it worked for me. Well, I think figurative painting is something that almost all artists get involved in at some point in time. You know, we first start taking painting classes, at least for me when I was a kid, you know, it was starting with models and, and painting. I was even, my mom went to art school when I was a little kid and I even went with her a little bit and would, you know, would sit there and draw models. So it's kind of, um, kind of the roots of a lot of my work is figurative stuff and it's something that, you know, everybody can relate to because we're people and we, we, we appreciate the form. The first day it's usually just myself and the model. And uh, so at that moment, I'm just really trying to capture the, the figure, capture, you know, it's kind of a more uh, anatomically correct painting, which is ironic because <laughs> a couple days later, I'm covering it up and hiding a lot of the details and it becomes harder to see. But at the initial moment, I'm really just doing like a figurative painting. Then I kind, of, I kind of determine whether or not I want to keep it as a soft kind of gray painting, which are supposed to be kind of quiet, um, maybe more tender paintings, or if I want to turn into the, this kind of deep red painting. So once I get the figure painted, then I usually, like nowadays, I, I'm kind of drawn to the red color, so I splash the red paint on the cover up. And the red hides the, a little bit, hides the figure a little bit more too. And that's actually one of my favorite parts of the painting is like, after I get three or four of them done, I'll spend a couple hours just working until I get to just to the right spot. When I was younger, I used to work with in Japanese rock gardens, big giant Japanese rock gardens, and I always liked the way the, you know, when you raked in the sand and made the flow around the big giant rocks, the big patterns that would flow. So I kind of do the same thing, get the same idea where the words are flowing, kind of hopefully give a sense of time or sense of motion. Because all the words are very sincere. And even when the ones are really hard to read, if you do get up on it and you do read the words, you're gonna see it's all very sincere. You know, my other work's like really kind of loud and gregarious, it's in your face, it's very immediate. And these are, you know, you kind of have to, kind of have to sit with them a little bit maybe, and maybe they're a little bit more, I, th I think there's a sincerity in them that people might, like, maybe that resonates with them pretty well. Um, I would say they're originally a little bit more kind of tender in their sensibility. I hope, I hope that there's like a little bit of a subtle vitality to the pieces.